All right, moving on. Uh, AI navigation for entities. I know that is uh, one thing. If we're looking at the at the dots roadmap, it's not uh, currently under development, but it's in the kind of like under consideration category. Is that right? Yeah, that that feels right. Yeah, under consideration, it's under there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, not quite in development, but it is something that they're uh, considering. Um, I know yeah. for me personally, I think the one that I would recommend is, um, I did a video on it a couple weeks ago, which is the agents navigation package, which is available on the Unity Asset Store. Um, yeah, I had, yeah, I, had a, I think he used to be a Unity employee as well. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've heard, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, no, I, I had a really great experience using that. It like really just feels like it. it is kind of like, a native unity package to be honest like it just works really well you can you know it, it fits in with the you know existing uh navigation package it works great with game objects and entities so i was really happy with that one so that, that is that is really cool and obviously uh, there's also um the, the classic approach of like going with uh an anime like having a ghost game object once again and then using the classic game object situation or there's also like a What's it called? Uh, navigation mesh query. We we have a native API. Um, it's very manual. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Nav mesh query or something. I yeah, exactly. I that tried works. to do that one for a while and it was just like <laughs> I was not yeah. getting the, the not getting very far. On it. it's, it's a very manual process, but it is very you know one that is probably supported by us. Um, yeah. I would definitely recommend like for ease of use just to get really good at that uh, ghost approach. Um, cause that, that, that's like a common theme. Um, like how do you want animation to work? Well, you, you gotta have some syncing. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And then you want UI to work, you'll have something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or even, you know, feel free to go ahead and try and take a stab at implementing your own navigation and pathfinding algorithms because, you know, with the performance of the job system, burst compiler and all that, um, you know, you definitely can get some pretty good results from it and maybe, you know, doing something manually could be, you know, a good exercise and you could also get something, you know, really high performance and specific to your needs. So um, that definitely yeah, is an option as well. And maybe one can just try to implement, uh, like if, if they don't feel like generating the entire nav mesh themselves, they can make me a simplified thing on top of the nav mesh query, or they can take, um, what, what's, what's the one we call? Um, we actually underneath use a public one. Um, it's like a very like if you search nevmesh, there's a high chance that you will find a C plus uh, plus thing that is uh, a generator for nevmeshes and oh uh, interesting. Um, it's just like an open source repository, basically. Ex exactly. Cool. Um, and and similarly, you could because of burst also just try to implement that. Yeah. 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 Good point. Because burst is directly able to call native C functions. Uh, no. No. Plus. 